Welcome to the channel. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I'm John Peters, and this channel is about general wellness techniques. And in this video, I am going to talk about the PIES check-in, which is a way to shape your ongoing awareness of yourself and your functioning and your reactions to support better general well-being. Stay tuned. Okay, so in this video, I am going to talk about the PIES check-in, P-I-E-S-S. -S. And the PIES check-in is an acronym that stands for Physical, Intellectual, Emotional, Social, and Spiritual. And it's intentionally comprehensive. It's about five broad domains of our self and our experience. And the use of it is to help you have better ongoing awareness of your general state and functioning to help you react better to that information so that you, you have better optimal health and well-being, right? So this is part of the alternative paradigm, which says holistic health is about better, deeper awareness of the self, even when something is not wrong, which is different from conventional medicine that says, let's just ignore stuff until there's some big problem that we can't ignore, right? People have said about conventional medicine that it's something like ignoring taking care of your car, but then when that pesky check engine light comes on, you just like take out a hammer and smash it so it doesn't bother you, right? Which is akin to ignoring my stress until I get a really bad headache or something, and then uh, taking pain medicine just to, to blast the pain out of existence so that I can go back to ignoring myself, right? So the PIES check-in is a way to regularly, let's say daily or weekly, you know, however often you think that it's optimal for you, to check in and just scan yourself in a very broad way by selecting five domains each in turn. And we'll do it here together so that you can understand what I'm talking about. So P-I-E-S-S, -S, the first letter of which is P, which is our physical self. So if you take a short time and you just check in with your physical self and you say, how am I? Do I is, does my body feel good in this moment? And in the last 24 hours, how has my body felt? Do I have some shoulder pain or, you know, in this moment, am I hungry or... Do I have a headache? Do I feel well rested from sleep, good sleep last night? Or do I feel kind of wonky because I got a bad night of sleep? You know, what do I notice about my physical self? Because we, in any given moment, can tune in and know something about just how's my body doing? How has my body been doing in the recent hours, right? So after checking in with the physical self, then the second letter is I, which is intellectual, which is really for mental. So what is my mental state? Am I alert? Or am I feeling kind of fogged out and just mentally kind of fatigued? Um, am I finding that my mind is drawn to a particular situation or issue, something in the recent past, like maybe a conflict that happened yesterday with a coworker, or a trip that I have to prepare for later in the week, right? Am I finding that my mental activity has certain qualities, my state of mind, or certain uh, tendencies in terms of where I am focusing my mind? What am I doing with my mind? Is my mind working well for me, or am I kind of struggling to like pay attention and focus? Uh, how's my short-term memory in the last uh, few days? Right? How, how's my general alertness and focus? So what do I notice about my mind? And then the third letter is E, which is for emotions. Emotions are not stable and monochrome. They're rich and varied. So in this moment, what emotion words would I assign to my emotional self? Am I feeling calm and satisfied? Am I feeling some hopeful anticipation about something that's coming up? Am I feeling dread about something that I just really don't want to have to face and experience? Um, in the last 24 hours, what emotion words would I assigned to my emotional self? Have my emotions been up and down? Have they been relatively stable? Are they kind of wide in variable magnitude? Or are they kind of flat? 
have I had a situation where my emotional quality was less kind of predictably congruent, and so it kind of surprised me the emotions I was having in reaction to a particular trigger? Or is there something that happened in the, in the last few hours today where I noticed, yeah, that's exactly what I think I would feel about such a thing, you know? So are, are my emotions congruent? So basically check in with your emotional self. The first of the two S's uh, is for social. So if I check in with my social self, do I have good social support? How do I think about my friends and family and people I'm connected to? Am I having conflicts with a particular person and I probably will need to adjust that relationship, renegotiate it, maybe deal with boundary issues or work on communication and how I'm dealing with conflict with that person? Is, the, is, is there a particular relationship that kind of looms large in my overall stress pie? It's contributing more than all the others, and it's not a net uh, zero or net positive. It's kind of a net negative in my life. Um, how have I been getting along with folks lately? Have I had, uh, do I notice my uh, conflicts as a ratio of interactions has gone up recently? Or am I kind of sailing along kind of smoothly in my social self? Am I feeling more isolated than I'd like to be? Or am I feeling maybe overexposed? And I'd like to have some alone time and be you know, away from the social space so that I can recharge if I'm more of an introvert. What can I notice about my social self and my connections with others and how I'm experiencing and reacting to those connections? And the last S is for spirituality, which really is code for meaning because many people don't identify as spiritual Many people don't identify as religious, so if we make it one of those, we're going to uh, occlude a lot of types of information that we could pay attention to otherwise. So if we change spirituality into meaning in terms of what we're actually paying attention to, we pay attention to our meaningful self. And what that means is, you know, uh, what am I involved in that provides me a sense of meaning? Like that could be volunteer roles and activities and projects. It could be hobbies. It could be something that you just have in your life that's very well developed. I talked to someone recently who just really loves reading about crafting and, and, and certain types of crafts and has done those crafts for years and has, has really you know, developed the skills of being able to do certain crafts. And so that, that's part of their meaningful self, right? Um, if you are spiritual or religious, you know, Am I, you know, being responsible to myself and following through with the types of practices that I know help me remain stable in my life and that are supportive of me and help me deepen myself in, in ways that I value, right? Uh, how do I feel about my character? Am I, am I being a good person? And however, I think I should be a good person in my life and in my world. Um, are there things that I think are emerging that I want to work on or things I think I ought to change about myself to be a better person in general? Uh, what are my goals, both my personal goals, but also goals that relate to that deeper sense of the self and how we want to be in the world and how we want the world to be? So, for example, I want the world to be fair, okay? And am I uh, responsible in my life where I am engaging with ways to make the world a better place in some way, you know, to pursue those goals, to promote those types of goals? So the PIES check-in, P-I-E-S-S, -S, is something that doesn't have to take as long a time as I did just now with you because I'm taking some time to explain each component. But you could, let's say once a day, just stop when you don't have to be on and attending to something else, and you could just check in with your physical self, your mental state, your emotional self, your interpersonal social self, your meaningful self, right? Um, you can do that in a relatively short period of time. And what that does is it loosens some of the normal filters that exist when we fly along and we think, we, well, I've got to pay attention to this, I've got to pay attention to that, I don't have time to stop and take a minute and check in with myself. Well, that's expedient, certainly in some moments, to get certain things done. But if our general mode is to ignore ourselves, then we're back in that conventional mode where we're ignoring stuff that eventually might pop up in ways that are problematic for us and that might not become available for ways where we can work with it constructively, right? So the P-I-E-S-S check-in, PIES check-in, is a, a way to open up that awareness to allow that helpful, healthy, holistic 
constructive information about ourself, our ongoing experience, uh, to come into our life in a way that's compelling and that we can work with in constructive ways. So if you like the video, feel very free to hit the like button below. I enjoy comments to help me learn about how you know, viewers are experiencing the channel and it gives me good feedback, so feel free to leave comments. And thanks for, for coming and, and participating with the channel and stay tuned for more videos.